What's up guys? I um I just decided to come on here and make a quick video because of uh something gave me an idea. I was just on my computer and uh I just had this idea. Uh I wasn't planning on making a video today, but this is something that I've been seeing a lot of recently in the uh this whole community of self improvement and whatnot. Uh just a lot of uh, copycats, disingen disingenuous people, um, people who aren't being true to themselves. They're trying to, you know, do it for the for the money or whatever the 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 visual that they put out there is what I'm trying to say. Like the um, the persona that they play. <laughs> it's so funny to me because this guy popped up on my YouTube right here on my computer and uh, he's copying one of like the top guys in the space that you know recently just popped off and it's so funny to me because he copies everything he does down to like a T but it it just made me want to come on here and tell you guys that you have to be genuine especially if you're doing something like social media People can see right through the bullshit, <laughs> like all the comments are calling them out. And uh, I just wanted to say that the most important thing for you and for your brand or your business, whatever you're trying to do, is to be true to yourself, be authentic. And that's what I try to do when I come on here and uh, just display my life, my journey, my story, and tell you guys exactly how it is, exactly how I think. And I'm 100% me, unapologetically. So, that that's one thing that people get wrapped up in nowadays, is sort of like playing a persona, a character, because it's become very popular based on like, you know, Andrew Tate. Ever since Andrew Tate came on the scene, it was like kind of a revolution of, you know, bringing back the masculine man. And that's what all these people are trying to portray, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you're trying to sell something, there comes a point where you can't hide behind a false sense of uh, an image that you're portraying online. And uh, I can't I can't call them out. I can't uh, I'm not going to name names, but you'll know because you could see through it. People will smell the bullshit on you. So. When I started posting online, it came to me very quickly that I can't copy people because that's not me. I can't put my entire uh, self into it, whatever content it is that, you know, like if you see something that's blown up and you try to copy it, you can't like, it's not going to be as good as the original because that's not you. That's not your story. That's not your content that you make. So when I come on here, just know that I'm speaking from my own experiences. Everything that I say comes from me, my brain. That's why I like to not really watch a lot of content. If I do, it's going to be long form, audiobooks, reading. I like to do a lot of that because everything that I learn and that I give to you guys is either through my experiences, what I learn from coaches or mentors, or from books and any other information I get. So when you're someone like this guy that I'm watching right now, who is very chronically online and is very wrapped up in the whole social media aspect, you kind of become a caricature of yourself because you're not being genuine. And not even in a social media aspect, in a normal aspect of life there is a sense of like you know people say fake it till you make it which to an extent yes you kind of want to pretend to be someone that you want to be in order for you to become that person but you cannot pretend to be someone different entirely like you cannot take someone else's personality because that's just not you and any aspect of your life people are going to see right through this so what I'm going to leave you with is be genuine, be true to yourself, 
Don't copy other people. Find your own path. Find what makes you happy. Find your purpose. And stay blessed. See you guys in the next one.